Hello YouTubers. Um, I was asked a quick question this morning about whether it's worthwhile doing pre-training in DeepFace Lab. And the answer to that is absolutely yes. And if you go to uh, deepfakevfx.com you will find uh, models that you can download. Uh, you can search by um, your uh, CPU type, you can search by um, your memory, you can search by your graphics card model and you can download. This is actually a really good um, new resource that's just taking off and it's already got lots of models that you can download and um, lots of face sets you can download. So if you go to pre-trained models here, basically what you can do is you can apply your filters um, and pick something that's appropriate for your card. So I tend to always do whole face. I've only got a 1080 Ti, so I'm stuck with about 256 to 320 resolution as you can see there's a wide variety of models um, in both DFUDT and LIAE formats the one that I actually downloaded uh, was this one DFUD sorry WF320 and you see that said 1.16 million iterations. Um, the other thing that's really useful on this site is trainer settings. And what it does is it allows you to pick your GPU card, um, pick your uh, memory and CPU. So I've got a TI and I've got an i7, which is why I went for the optimal resolution of 320. And that's why I searched for that and downloaded that model. OK. Now, the reason why pre-training matters is because if you start um, your deep fake from scratch, the AI that's been used has got to learn the face from scratch. Um, most models that you download will have at least 500,000 iterations, maybe up to a million plus. And that's time that your graphics card GPU is going to have to put in just to get to the point of the model. The fact that the model's been trained on random faces is actually an advantage because the more faces it sees, the more it understands how the human face can vary. And when you apply that to your own deep fake, the fact that you're deep faking a face it might not have seen before onto a face it might not have seen before, um, it's still significantly quicker. So using that model, I, I did a very quick test. And what I did is I trained the same um, video, which was Harry Potter um, sorting hat scene which has got Hermione Granger in, Emma Watson and just did 1000 iterations um, so basically this is the new model so after just 1000 um, iterations that is what the model understands about the face so you can sort of see a likeness it kind of knows where the eyes is and the nose and the mouth but it's all very blurry and very indistinct. Um, for those of you that want the model settings, I'll just pop them on the screen there like that. Um, you can just pause and you can see the exact settings that we used and set your model to those. I say this is for um, a 1080 Ti, uh, which is 11 gigabytes um, VRAM, and the PC is an i7 uh, fourth generation, 64 gig of RAM. Uh, NVMe 2.0 drive um, supported by SSD um, drives for data. So quite a quick machine 
um, and quite a reasonable graphics card but obviously nothing like the RTX's that are available now okay so I move those settings out of the way so that is the um, uh, that's the model uh, from scratch and now this is the model using the pre-trained model so again about a thousand iterations and you can see straight away that the pre-trained model is significantly better not only are the features better defined the face is more defined each of the eyes nose mouth is more defined um, the likeness is significantly better as well and just bear in mind that this is just 1000 iterations um, typically to get a really good model you're probably going to have to do up to half a million iterations even on a pre-trained model but I just wanted to demonstrate why you should use pre-trained models rather than doing it from scratch there's no advantage um, of doing it from scratch unless the settings that you require um, are not available um, in a model that you can download in which case you should use those settings um, do a million iterations and upload it to the website as part of the uh, share and care program okay any questions in the comment um, comments uh, I'll try and answer and if you want any other aspect of um, deep faking discussed I'd be happy to do that okay signing off now thanks bye